Hello, everyone. And today I'll be taking you through uh, the lesson of business statistics and probability. Now, let's go to the introduction of statistics. Statistics is the branch of mathematics that deals with collection, classification, analysis, and interpretation of numerical evidence or numerical facts for drawing inferences on the basis of their quantifiable likelihood. And that quantifiable likelihood sometimes can be referred to as the probability. And the statistics can interpret aggregates of data too large to be uh, intelligible by ordinary observation because such data, unlike individual uh, quantities, tends to behave in a regular, predictable manner. What I want to say here is that uh, statistics can interpret a big, large data that ordinary observation of them is not possible. But through applying statistical tools, we can draw a conclusion or generalization about uh, certain data and provide information that is effective for decision making in an organization. But for individual data, of course, they are, they are regular and it's easy to understand them and be able to, to draw uh, uh, the uh, conclusion you know, to, to it. The statistics is divided into, into two. That is to say, descriptive statistics and the inferential. Now, we are going to discuss these two into details so that you get to understand what does descriptive statistics mean and what does inferential statistics mean. And so that you'll be able to understand the different types and how do they differ from one another so that you have that knowledge. So let's start with descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics deals in the collection and presentation of data. So it refers to analysis of data, sample data is being summarized using charts. We know what charts are, but I'm going to present for you in the next, in the next slides. Tables. Well, as I've already made, given you the definition of statistics, and I've given the types of statistics, which is the descriptive and inferential statistics. So, and I've already given you what uh, descriptive statistics is, where uh, sample data is summarized in the form of the charts, tables, and the graphs. So, why do we see samples? Because samples, it's very hard for us to study the entire population. And that's why we take sample data as a representative of the, of the population, which can be summarized in, uh, for easy interpretation in terms of uh, uh, charts, tables, and graphs. And in the summary, as, as I discussed, you can either use line graphs or you can use bar chart for the presentation of your data. You can use pie charts also to represent either cells or uh, uh, regions in terms of the production or in terms of their all different performance depending on the different phenomena of your study. While using tables, uh, some of the tables you can use uh, uh, for the names, uh, that's a group in terms of names, groups in terms of sex, groups in terms of uh, uh, sex or gender, uh, age, uh, telephones, and, and date of birth. So, uh, using this uh, presentation, you can be able to now interpret the meaning uh, of the data, uh, which is just information now for decision making in the organization. And I hope up to he here you have now understood what descriptive statistics is. And the next, we're going to take you now to discuss about inferential statistics. And it's very lengthy. And now we're going to uh, go to the next slide, which is the inferential statistics. Thank you.